It's CSD time in Germany as well as other countries. What does that have to do with diapers? Lots and more, because some of you will be there too. But let's start at the beginning for those of you who might not know much about it. Christopher Street Day on June 28 is a historic date for demonstrating for gay and lesbian rights. There is not one central demonstration, but many different ones throughout the country. Even many smaller towns now have their own CSD. The dates are spread throughout the year between the end of April and the beginning of October. We are in the peak period, with most of them taking place between June and September. The CSD demos were created by people who are not heterosexual. Of course, you don't have to be of the same sex to take part in a demonstration. In addition to heterosexuals, there are also other people who deviate from the norm. For example, puppies, especially LGBT puppies, who are actually part of two minorities in society. This always leads to discussions and disputes. It starts with legal matters, because a CSD is a demonstration, the right of assembly and the ban on wearing masks apply. That alone keeps lawyers and courts busy. Masks are not banned across the board, but only if they are intended to conceal identity, which is unlikely to be the case with most dog masks. Most people demonstrate peacefully and do not commit crimes for which the mask is intended to help. The moral question is even more controversial. How far can a CSD go? It is important to understand that Christopher Street Day demonstrations are intended to be provocative. They originated in 1970 as a reaction to the arbitrariness of the police towards homosexuals. At that time, anyone who was not heterosexual lived in constant fear. For example, there were targeted raids on gay bars in the gay scene, in which the authorities not only arrested this minority. Violence was also involved. As a result, there had been repeated protests and major clashes with the police in previous years. The Stonewall Riot is the best known and led to the founding of the CSD. People felt they were being treated unfairly and wanted to vent their anger with a demonstration. You can imagine that it must have been an emotional atmosphere. Provocations were intended to show a middle finger and draw attention to the grievances. Fortunately, we've come a long way nowadays. Even if, unfortunately, there is still a certain amount of violence, rejection and discrimination against homosexuals. In my opinion, demonstrating against this is still justified. Do dog masks, ABDL outfits or even half-naked people in diapers fit in with this? That's difficult. On the one hand, the CSD wants to provoke, which it certainly should to a certain extent. On the other hand, we in these communities must not forget, the average person can't relate to this. When outsiders see someone walking naked through the street wearing just a large, colorful diaper, they are at the very least irritated. Many feel disgusted, as you can see from this picture with its comments. Anyone who has read manipulative headlines in the so-called build newspaper will also consider such people to be sick or disturbed. This paper doesn't even differentiate between adult babies as a way of life and the fetish. An outsider who sees this live or such pictures on social media won't do that either. Outside of our bubble, many find it repulsive and don't want to know much about it. Along the lines of, creepy, that's enough internet for today. We won't create acceptance or at least tolerance. Many people think it's a strange fetish and wonder what it's doing on public streets. Especially when children or even naked people are involved. I didn't have to look far to see pictures of a naked man next to a young child. With something like that, I can understand if outsiders think it goes too far. And it plays into the hands of the intolerant and extremists who fundamentally reject all of this. They instrumentalize it to stir up hatred among the more open-minded. In 2022, an ABDL running group took part in the CSD in Cologne for the first time. I think this is the wrong event, at least for the fetish part. As a community, we should stand up for acceptance and tolerance. And not instrumentalize CSD to symbolically let our hair down for a day, where some people suddenly think they can do anything because lots of people are doing it. For example, showing yourself naked in public is a criminal offense under sexual criminal law and is punishable by a fine or up to a year in prison. Around children, it quickly becomes sexual harassment or even worse. ABDL has a bad reputation in society. I think it will get worse instead of better if naked people in diapers disturb outsiders. Plus the power of images. The two previously shown images alone have been seen by 300,000 people on the internet. Probably many more than were at the CSD. Of course, no one has to go without diapers when they go to CSD. 
However, I wouldn't force everyone to see it. You can wear something over it like you would in normal everyday life. Or who walks around almost naked wearing only a diaper? I advocate thinking about how your own behavior is perceived by others. And not other ABDL and other small minorities. The vast majority can't do anything with diapers, dog masks and the like. Think about how an outsider would react and whether a demonstration for gay rights is really the right place to act this out. Followers of other fetishes do this outside at private events where no one is disturbed or even bothered by it if they don't want to be. For ABDL, there are also such events where you can wear diapers and much more among like-minded people. If you like it quieter in smaller groups, you can meet up privately. You can write your opinion in the comments and discuss it with others. I hope that all CSDs are peaceful and wish for more tolerance and understanding on all sides. Stay dry, until the next video.